I've heard of Whistler Blackcomb like a lot of times, but if I'm being honest, I really didn't know what it was. One mountain, is it two resorts? I'm pretty sure it's in Canada. So I'm gonna explain that and more and tell you why I think that Whistler Blackcomb could be one of the best resorts in North America. So just a few days ago, the family and our neighbors, the Lessners, landed at Vancouver Airport and we were picked up by VIP transportation. And it's a beautiful two hour ride up to Whistler Blackcomb. But we're staying right here and we can pick up skis, boards from Epic Mountain Rentals right here. Walk in these doors. And of course they have Epic Mountain Rentals all around the resorts. You can get them at the base, up at the top exchange if you want to do the demo program, it's sick. Why Whistler Blackcomb? Well, over there is Whistler and here is Blackcomb. Originally, they were two separate mountains and now you can ski or ride both mountains same day and the addition of the peak to peak gondola has really changed that. Makes it super easy. It's a beautiful ride across. If you come here, you have to do that. If you wanna check out my experience when I went out with Whistler Black Home Heli Skiing, got dropped off at the top of a mountain by a helicopter. Click the links in the description below. They have the Olympics here. It must be good. So the spring conditions have been amazing here. We've been riding in like hoodies and long sleeve t-shirts. Starts a little icy in some mornings and that softens up in the afternoon, but bluebird nearly every day. You can also walk from one village down to the bottom of Blackcomb, over to Whistler. They have tons of dining, shopping, all sorts of options. for the locals coming here. Snowboarders like this place. They've got a really good terrain park and it has such a wide variety of terrain. <laughs> Even like from Mid Mountain down, there's steep, there's trees, there's alpine. Now Whistler is known for more of its alpine bowls and peak chair terrain. So you see a lot of the skiers head there for some really good skiing. Now the mid and lower mountains at Whistler are really good for beginners because they have a lot of blues and greens. So it allows people to have that good progression. They also have the largest dedicated learning area of both resorts. We had an awesome mountaintop fine dining experience at Christine's. We're currently dining at Christine's and the view up here is amazing, but we're in the middle of a cloud. Like these clouds just rolled in. This is crazy. We're up in the clouds. 
There's also a bunch of fun activities that we were able to do off the mountain. We went zip lining with the adventure group. We're going on a zip line, but we gotta get there first. I've done some pretty cool things in some beautiful places. Look at this. And we're zip lining up here. That is bananas, like this is a thing. We went to this walk, the Balea Lumina. That was way surprising. Absolutely beautiful, blew my mind. And now we're getting ready to go zip lining up here. You guys can go check the links in the description below of how you can connect with all these different activities. So you can go make the most of your trip because that's what we're doing and this is next level. Hey, that was a fun time, y'all. Stopping here at Porto Cove to get some good family photos on the way back to the airport. So thank you guys for watching and thank you to everyone at Whistler Black Home. That was a ton of fun. Also, thank you to everyone in the links in the description below. If you guys wanna reach out to them to potentially pull off a similar trip, I encourage you to do so and find out why Whistler Black Home is one of the best resorts in North America. Always appreciate it when you like and share. And if you uh, don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace.